The title, Queer Suicide, there's the double meaning there for sure. One, the show does talk about suicide and mental health, and, and that's a, you know, a well-known phrase that incorporates that. It's also the type of thing of like, if you dedicate this many years of your career to talking about suicide, that is also inherently kind of career suicide. So luckily it's worked out and I get to do this. Suicide has a real branding problem. Nike, that's a good tagline, just do it. I'm not saying that suicide should take that one, that's not. My whole experience talking about this stuff is very unexpected. Someone reached out for help and I tried to offer up the help. In the early days, there'd always be like one or two people would wait for me after the show and be like, I deal with that stuff. Or my brother, I watched them growing up deal with like depression or, or I've always felt crazy and, and like keep going, you're speaking to me. So it was very eye-opening, unfortunately for me with my anxiety mixed with my slight OCD. If a cabinet door is open and it doesn't have to be that feels to me like the entire world is falling apart. <laughs> if I'm going to be the one that's like, I'll make jokes about suicide because I'm not ashamed of it, then I also need to be very, very responsible for the fact that other people have experiences with it that are way different than mine, and maybe they're not ready for jokes. So I need to like really be in it and invested in it every single time I do it, or else that's really not fair.